Hi there. My name is Allison Whitfield. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you could come. If you like what you see or if you'd like to explore or look around or support, uh, just put a like on the video and subscribe. That would be really cool. This video, this video is going to be about the Fremont Street experience which happens right downtown Las Vegas. It's Monday night. I live about 20 minutes from downtown Fremont Street, and so a 20 minute walk. So I walked down there tonight just to check it out and just to, you know, record some video and to see what I can see, what, to, what I can experience. And uh, you'll see the videos here. So, I live about 20 minutes from downtown Las Vegas. It's a 20 minute walk, actually. So they have what is called the Fremont Experience downtown. It's five blocks. It's roped off, you know, from traffic and all that. In between each block, there's a stage set up. So what you do is you walk down back and forth on the five mile trek and overhead they have a canopy that or whatever it's called that shows uh, that has a show you know it's a show to it and um, so people go down there and it's in between the casinos so people go in and out of the casinos there's restaurants you know there's bars you know there's uh, souvenir shops there's uh, there's acts, you know, there's people that play music, you know, like it might be a solo act or maybe a duo or something. And, uh, they do their, their acts periodically among within the five blocks and then in between the five blocks, they have stages set up where they have shows. But since this is Monday night, they didn't have any shows tonight, but you still can see some small acts, you know, like there are jugglers and there are, you know, there are women dressed up, you know, as a... Uh, dancers and stuff where you can pose, you know, and, uh, you know, take your pictures with them and you give them tips, you know, and the musicians, you can tip them, things like that. I've been there quite a few times before, um, but this is my first time going as a, like, a guest, you know, before when I was here, um, I would go down there because I was just, you know, I just wanted to see what it, what it was like, but I didn't have any money, I didn't have any, you know, I didn't, I didn't really have anything, I just kind of walked through and looked around. Well, this time, I actually have some bucks, you know, and I went down as a tourist, and I was going to look for a restaurant, maybe a bar to get a drink in, you know, maybe put some money in the slot machines, and then just walk around and experience it, you know, like a tourist, right? Hmm. I have to say that uh, because I'm alone, I don't have any family here or any friends or anybody. Walking through there, you see a lot. You see it a lot differently. You know, you see families and friends, and they're enjoying it together and stuff. But you also see people who are who are out of place. I was homeless, as you know, so uh, it's easy for me to recognize the homeless. There are a lot of homeless people just mingling around through the crowd, just like I used to do. You can see the sadness. You can feel it. And the crowd pays no attention. I watched the homeless walking through. I watched the crowd ignoring them. and it made me feel sad. Even though I was surrounded by lights and you know, glitter and you know, all the things that Vegas can offer. I can go into any of the casinos, or matter of fact, I did go into a couple, up a couple of casinos to use the bathroom, you know. I didn't feel like gambling. And I went into a couple of restaurants, you know, to get something to eat, but you know, Vegas is just now opening back up. 
and so they're very short-handed on every every everywhere they're short-handed they're hiring everywhere you can see hiring signs we're hiring we're hiring hiring and so when you go into any place and try to get anything you have to wait in a line because there's just not enough people not enough customer service you know not enough hospitality you know to make sure everything goes smoothly and make sure the lines go fast so the lines are long you know and I just did not feel like waiting in any of those lines. I went to a few, you know, a couple. I went to three other restaurants. You know, I went to the White Castle. I went to the Whiskey Liquor, whatever it's called. Um, I went into Denny's. Um, I was going to go into um, Fat Tuesdays. But everywhere. And there's this, there's this Coney, Island hot dog, Coney Island hot dog stand. You know, I was going to do that. But, man... Everywhere I went, there was a line. It was a long line. And I understand why, because there's nobody behind the counter serving. There's only one customer. When I, you know, for me, I would gladly stand in line, but when I look up and look in front and see that there's only one person serving this long line, and that was the case in uh, at least three of the places. A couple of the places, there was a couple other people, and one of the places, there was no one there. There were people were just standing in line waiting for the person to come back. I guess they went to do something. But I was like, wow. Now I know that Vegas is going to recover, and I know that things are going to pick up, and you know. But I know that they need to hire, and I don't know if they can hire, you know, right now because the pandemic kind of wiped people out, it kind of wiped everything out, kind of messed things up, you know. But there are a lot of people still getting unemployment and stuff, so they're going to be getting off their unemployment and they're going to be applying for jobs and stuff like that. So that should bring it back. But right now, so that on top of my disappointment in that, on top of the fact that when I was looking around, I saw a lot of homeless people, a lot of homeless people, and they were being ignored. Of course, they were being ignored. And they look so sad and so lost. I didn't take very many pictures of them or video of them because that's like an invasion of privacy. But there were a couple that I got. A couple of times that I got some video. But homelessness is still a huge issue. So the Fremont experience wasn't all that exciting for me tonight. So, but I'm glad I went just to see things differently. But that's my take on it. I'm sure that when you come to visit, you'll see it differently as a tourist, you know. Plus, most people go out on the strip. You know, most people don't go downtown. Uh, but it was still busy and, you know, but I'm sure that there are a lot more homeless downtown than there is on the Strip because I'm sure they clean up the Strip a little bit more than they can downtown. Downtown is not that far from where most of the homeless stay. And then, of course, you've heard of the caves underneath the Strip where the homeless go out there. So they're not, they're not up on the streets like they are downtown. So, anyway, that's my take on it. And, uh... Of course, I'll go visit again and stuff, but I'm really not into the crowds and the gambling, the casinos and the clubs because I don't drink or anything like that. It's kind of hard to live in Vegas when you don't do those things, when you don't gamble and you don't drink, and everything is set up for gamblers and drinkers. <laughs> but there are also shows here, but right now the shows have not started yet, and there's also buffets here where you can go and eat you know so much and then you only have to pay a little bit there the buffets aren't open yet and the shows have not really opened yet only the big shows but none of the small shows have opened yet so it's not much to do but gamble you know and wait around in line for the restaurants to, you know and stuff I'm sure when the buffets open you're not gonna have to wait in line because it's a buffet you serve yourself right <laughs> But unfortunately, the buffets aren't open yet. There's still restrictions on the buffets, so. 
and the restaurants were kind of pricey so that's why I don't go very often but I was planning on going tonight I was planning on actually going into a restaurant and pay 20 25 bucks or whatever to get something really nice I'm gonna wait in line for 30 45 minutes no I'm not gonna do it anyway that's my take on it so thanks for listening kind of tired because it's kind of late I was out there but, uh, anyway I wanted to record this before I um, lost my train of thought about it so thanks for watching and thanks for hanging with me as we experience the free one experience downtown there is it is fascinating it's very fascinating so if you ever come to Vegas I recommend that you come down and walk through and there may be some things you might find you know, you might at least experience it anyway. So, anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to my channel, and uh, you have a great rest of your day.